were, how close did you ever come to taking one of those opportunities, and why did you ultimately play the long game, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. I was, you know, I was thinking about that, Scott, the other night. You know, there's been a, you know, you know, double digits offer or you know opportunities. Um, it's hard to say, like, you know, everybody's strategic. You get to a certain point in the interview process, and you know, if you kind of like recruiting, you feel like they're not in, then you shift, right? Um, I'd say there's been two, maybe three, where I was like, oof, um, kind of like maybe that's the one, you know, maybe I should go. Um, but what, you know, this I know doesn't work out often. You know, I, I mean, you can, you can take this risk and stay and stay and stay, and then you just don't get the opportunity. That's why I'm so grateful to Beth and our president, Wilson. Um, but I just, I'm an, I'm an Iowa kid. I believe in it. I, I believe I, I mean, my education at Drake University it was, you know, helped me become who I am. Uh, the, the way the people are in our great state, uh, the way it feels over here. And I was never wired. Like, I think there's just two different ways to do it. Some people, you know, they hop, 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 and they get back to where they want it to go. Believe me, I had many conversations in my head and Julie and um, with our former AD, Gary Marta, um, grateful to him as well. Um, so you just have to, at some point you have to be, okay, this is what I'm going for. So about eight years ago, that's what I told Lisa. Now some people had called um, and I talked, but at the end of the day, there's no place I wanted to be. So that's why I feel really grateful that it, it worked out. And, you know, I don't know what the odds are in Vegas that it work out again, but all I care about is right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Linder, Sierra Rapids Gazette. Um, one of your roles, um, and, and I'm kind of backpacking up, or piggybacking on him, one of your roles has been being a good cop, mm -hmm. uh, a, you know, a backpatter, Right. Um, you know, do you see that changing? I mean, you've got such a, a sunny di disposition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doesn't always translate well to a head coaching role. Right. Do, you, do you see that changing at all? Uh, you know, I think it has to, right? Um, but it doesn't concern me. Uh, I feel like we have, you know, such good continuity staying that I know what Abby and Raina, you know, were. To be successful on the staff, you have to be like-minded. And there are some things, you know, the smaller things assistants should take care of, right? And when they get to be the big things, they hit that, that office. So I've had a lot of experience on the small things. And I've been able to do it, you know, maybe with more of a sunny disposition, but, you know, you can probably ask it, you know, a couple of the players and they wouldn't tell you all the time that I'm as sunny, right? <laughs> um, so I feel like, um, you know, I've watched Lisa Lee, and I've, I've watched many, you know, people in my life, but I, uh, I also, I don't think you have to all of a sudden change and be this really burly, you know, hard disciplinarian just to prove to everybody, by God, we're going to do it this way. I, I don't believe you have to do that. I think when you lead, you do it your way, and I'm very confident that the way I'll be able to handle the times when I need to be the quote unquote bad cop, I'll do it my way and I'll be very confident that um, it will be received well. So I'm, 